Aquarius, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Aquarius, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Aquarius, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you today, Aquarius. First card, Ace of Swords, very interesting. Expect some sort of download, clarity, almost like an aha moment of knowledge being given to you. This is gonna come in the form of a feeling, sometimes an image, rarely words. And this is from your angels and guides. And they're gonna be delivering a message to you because they feel like right now you are ready. You're in the same energy, you're, you're in a harmonious energy of what you're trying to attract. And expect this, this energy to come into your life in the form of a synchronicity, right? You're gonna think it's a coincidence, it's not. That is how your angel's guide speak to you. And I see it has definitely something to do with your finances. You got the Knight and King of Pentacles. This energy is really, really abundant. And right now, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can capitalize on this energy when it is presented to you. Now, you also have the Four of Cups, Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. There's the resistance portion, which I'll show you how to clear. So when this opportunity presents itself, you're able to capitalize on it. Now you got the King of uh, Wands, the King of Swords, which I love, the Queen of Wands, and you also have the Star. So again, you've accumulated a lot of wisdom, experience, and knowledge, and now it's time to put it together to be able to find a lesson and be able to bring in new opportunities. Now, Aquarius, your affirmation for today is I am wealthy. Yes, you are. Quantum entangle with this energy. Let the universe know you are ready. Write down in the comment section, I am wealthy. Invite and welcome wealth into your life by commanding, assuming, expecting it. I am wealthy, write this down in the comment section below. I see here that you have this energy around you that is so magnetic, so attractive, that is so rich, and rich in many, many different ways. Rich in the feeling of almost like uh, intuitive energy, rich in the feeling of being grounded, but also financially as well. Like money is great because money buys you freedom, and who better to be rich than you? You're gonna tip everyone, everyone's gonna be happy. This is exactly what we want. We want you rich. Your angels and guides want this for you. Spirit wants this for you. It's about abundance and not scarcity. So this feeling of like, is this gonna happen? When is this gonna happen? Why is this not happen? This energy, you gotta understand, this is nothing more than fear. And fear is an illusion in this case. Fear does not have the same agenda as you, right? Fear does not wanna see you rich. Why? Because that would be something new. A breath of fresh air, that's uncertain energy. Fear does not want you to have $100 million. So you cannot listen to fear. Who wants you to have $100 million? Your angels and guides. Why? Because you're gonna experience life. And this energy right here, when you are tapped into your source energy, you can expect yourself to make leaps and bounds progress. I'm gonna show you exactly how to tap into this energy. Right now, I do see celebrations. I see right now you calling your friends and family, telling them that there's something beautiful that just happened, something beautiful that transpired. and this energy Energy is something that is natural for you. And I also do see here that this energy is something that will organically take place when your energy goes from a more of a lower frequency to a neutral frequency. And I'll show you how to do that. And this neutral frequency is like the invitation. It's almost like you're inviting to the party all your friends. You're inviting wealth, health, your soulmate, your angels, everybody. And right now, in order to send them the invitation, all you have to know is their address. Their address is a feeling, that's what it is. The universe speaks feelings. It doesn't speak languages. It doesn't speak English, French, Cantonese, Spanish, none of this. It speaks feelings. When your feelings are overwhelmed, when you feel like you are not, you're living your genuine authentic self, this is like sending your manifestation to the wrong address, right? This is the reason why a lot of times people are like, Vince, I visualized my you know dream job or I journaled about it, but I didn't get it. Because I'm like, did you feel it? Right? You visualized it, but did you feel the event before it took place? Like, were you like, ah, oh, so grateful to have that job before you actually got it? That's the trick, right? And right now, I'll give you, I'll show you a trick that you can get yourself out of this lower frequency energy. This frequency of like, I don't have something or what is going on, something feels off. This energy, I'll show you exactly how to clear. And when you clear this energy, 
and life gets so much more effortless. So right now, the most important thing you gotta know is when you wake up first thing in the morning, there's nothing wrong with you. In your DNA, your ego fear wants you to problem solve. Back in the day, caveman days, it would be like, oh, oh food, shelter, finances. Now it's saying more like, bills and Instagram likes, this is normal. But you gotta understand that that frequency is something that you start out with. You have to work your way to a neutral vibration. Why am I saying neutral vibration, not high vibration? High vibration is great, but high vibration sometimes is less sustainable, right? To get yourself there all the time. But neutral vibration is all you need. Neville Goddard, right here. You're right here, you are allowing, right? How do you get to neutral vibration? Well, I have this trick. Well, never Goddard has this trick, but I, I use it all the time. You basically say, isn't this great? That's it. Isn't this great? Three words. Why are you saying that? Because when something is great, you have something. I'll give you an example. You go to work, you come home, you sit down, you're like, ah, what are you feeling to yourself? This is great. Or you go on vacation, you're in the sun, ah, isn't this great? So that energy right there is a neutral energy. I don't even add an attachment to it. I'm not saying, isn't this great? It's sunny. Isn't this great? It's raining. Isn't this great? Da, 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 da. No, just isn't this great? And when there's something is great, you feel this, sense of relief, your guard is down. When your guard is down, guess what? There's no more resistance. When there's no resistance anywhere, there's no resistance everywhere. Now you can expect synchronicity after synchronicity to come your way, and that's when the, all these beautiful insights, downloads, and clarities make their way to you. But in order for this to happen, you first and foremost have to master this energy. That's why I'm like, write down, I am wealthy. Let the universe know exactly what is going on in your life. Let the universe know that you command, assume, expect, how you look at the perspective. Active. And then all the hesitation, procrastination will go right out the window. So it's like, in order for you to attract what you're looking for, you gotta understand the most powerful thing you can possibly do is think about nothing. That ah feeling. You may feel like you're wasting time. You are not wasting time. You are mo doing more than you ever could. Unless you have that ah energy, you are not allowing the universe to do its job. The universe is your best friend. It's a friendly universe, but it can't deliver you what you're looking for unless you allow it to. This is the trick. This is the game we're playing. The moment you realize, gotcha, the universe wants to make me happy and rich. How do I do so? I gotta let it. What does that mean? I gotta allow. What does that mean? I gotta just get myself to neutral baseline energy. Oh, great. So all I gotta do is like, I don't even have to think about high vibration. If you do, great. But nah, all you gotta do is just stay here. Now the universe can actually do its job and give you what you're looking for, which will make your life effortless rather than efforted. All right, now final message from your spirit guide, excuse me, your animal spirit first. Check out your animal spirit, chameleon spirit, act as if. Act as if, what does that mean? Act as if you are rich. Act as if you are wealthy. That's why I'm like, I am wealthy. Let it be known as if. You have to feel it, right? When you just act as if, now, the universe can actually deliver opportunities, synchronicity, these people that are in harmony with your energy. And then when you act as if, this takes skill, right? But that's why I'm like, you know, sometimes trying to manifest something and being in a high vibration, it takes a little, like, you gotta crawl before you walk. It takes a little bit of, you know, practice, but acting as if like, ah, oh, isn't this great? Isn't this great applies to everything? And that is really, really going to help. So just be spiritual being, not spiritual doing, right? All right, now let's see. Final message from your spirit guides. This time around, it says leap of faith. Look at that beautiful message, number 22. And right now your spirit guides say, see this as a chance to create something wonderful. You're in a transitional period where you need to draw on your faith, intuition, and knowledge to take the leap. You will not fail. You have a safety net of support in place. Right now when you really take that leap of faith, which means trust yourself, trusting yourself is confidence. What is confidence? Nothing more than knowledge. I repeat, confidence is nothing more than knowledge. Confidence is not something you're born with. So for example, you want to start a business, you got to take the leap of faith. Okay, how do you do so? Study the company's balance sheet, do some market research, some due diligence, and you'll be confident in that. Now, say if you want to ask someone on a date, you want to make sure that you're confident when you do so. How do you do that? Study the human psyche. What does that other person want? 99% chance they want what you want, someone fun and exciting. 
That's it. You know how to approach them. Hey, we're going to go have a great time. I can't wait. Love your energy. So right now it's like, Aquarius, you have all these tools waiting here for you. But if your awareness is in the familiar past or the predictable future and it's not in the now, both of those timelines siphon energy away from the now. So take the leap of faith, instill these excellent habits, you know, focus on what matters. Life is like a road when you walk on it, it disappears behind you. So don't worry about what's behind you. Look to the vision and the story of the future. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.